What is up guys? I am JKU390 and welcome to part 6 of Let's Play Mega Man Zero 3. Now we are up against a new set of four enemies. Um, last time we killed Copy X. That and I was cut off mid-sentence talking about how if you see an enemy for the first time you should probably kill them if you want to gain their Cyber Elf. And also of course doing my little outro of until next time. but. That does not matter. I was trying to decide here who I wanted to fight first. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I was like, well, I don't really know any of them, so I'll just go in order. Oh, excuse me. I apologize for that. <clears throat> if you could really hear it, I don't know. Man, my mic keeps getting louder. Facility core is activated. We'll need to activate the core to reestablish facility operations to get in the deeper part. Okay, mission start. So yeah, I'm sorry my uh, schedule with uploading has kind of been off. I mean, I've still been getting at least basically one a day. There's just one day I didn't. But, I don't know, it's just... Last part didn't want to upload worth crap, so I couldn't record any other parts yet. Well, commentate. Like I said, all the other parts are already recorded. But anyway, yeah, today is Saturday the 31st. Yesterday being Friday the 30th. Uh, we had a pretty fun stream being... Priest and I, and we had Tarviti with us co-commentating a little bit. <clears throat> I mean, most of the stream was laggy as crap, but then Priestin played some Mega Man X, and then he played Pokemon Channel and something else, I can't remember. Um, oh, Portal. He played some Portal. And strangely enough, those looked better than Mega Man X, which was laggy as balls. I guess that just shows that old 16-bit games have a higher frame, I don't know. But anyway, yeah, if you guys ever want to check those out, make sure you go to Twitch TV and find True Friends Gaming, follow, in, follow us on there. Huh. Following us. It'd probably just be something like twitchtv.com backslash True Friends Gaming. Make sure you type it in as all one word. <coughs> Let's get on there, and if you have a cell phone with like your email and stuff connected to it if you follow us just click the little heart button on there and it will message you anytime that we stream which can be helpful and it can be annoying <coughs> for example if I go there to watch a stream or if I'm gonna stream or something even though I haven't really streamed on there yet I might be able to now that I have FME um, yeah it'll still tell me so that's kind of stupid but if you're just watching it, then I guess you don't have as much to worry about. Anyway, so there's not really much to explain with this level, other than I was extremely homicidal towards, like, every moth there. And if you see the lights keep going out and it goes dark, and you just power up and attack the generator. Whenever you do, it lights up the room and the moths all fly up to the light. <coughs> I just kept lighting them up, well, a few reasons. One, I didn't know if I needed to or not. And two, I liked it better with the lights on than off. Even if you can still see, it just makes me think that there could be something that I'm missing with it off. Plus, who knows, maybe Zero is afraid of the dark. <coughs> hmm. Anyway, yeah, so now I don't know what to really talk about. I guess I gotta start talking about the actual game. Heck, am I already at the boss door? Oh, no. He's not playing the music yet. Ah, oh, one of these stupid things. You just hit the little squares and it pushes it in. Once you get them all, then the next door opens. You know, you didn't get them whenever they're still red. And there. Now the door opens. But of course, I had to check up on all the ledges and stuff. Because Hero's a little explorer and likes to find every hidden thing, every cyber disk and whatnot. <coughs> See, even when I get him to go up to the light, I still want to run up and fight them. Oh, did I actually leave that one? Cool. Good job, JKU. If I went back to that last generator now... Oh, I guess it would still be on. I think it's just each floor has a different one.
Hmm. Huh. Huh. Sorry about that. I don't know what I was doing there. Ah, <coughs> uh, so this was, I guess, the official sub-boss of the level. So yeah, it spins, and that green circle is what you want to attack. For a second, I didn't fully understand it until I saw the little green light, then I knew what I needed to do. It's like, oh. That's when he gets hurt. Okay, apparently I still didn't know yet, because I'm shooting at it still. Now I think I might know. Yeah, there we go. I think. I don't know, I keep shooting like a madman, so I never know. But now it's dead. <coughs> a pretty insignificant sub-boss, if I must say so myself. <coughs> Actually, if this is the level I think- Oh yeah, I hated this part. I hate those stupid cords right there. Those enemies are annoying. And then I hit the switch right there if you didn't see and it turns these things around. I don't know if I even really noticed it at the time, but it's a good thing I did because that got me to the disc. That you could see for a second up there. As well as another one of those stupid cords that stopped me from getting the disc. Yep, those things are stupid. And I just hit the switch again with the back of my blade. <coughs> there was a pause there if you're wondering why the screen just like blacked and then went back. <sighs> yeah, I learned really quick what you needed to do there with the whole weight system. I don't know why I hit the switch the second time. I guess it doesn't really do anything unless I want to get back to where I came from. I can't wait to get started on 04. I want to be able to say I finished the story at least. Because <coughs> I haven't even started playing that one yet. And again, that's one of the games I haven't played. So yeah, this one is just like the last generator room, except there's those stupid spikes that appear. And for the most part, if you're just standing there, they can't hit you. And if they can, sometimes your Z-Saber will block the thing. Or just kill them. Which was also helpful. And done. At least that time there wasn't like a time limit that you had to kill all of the flying spiked things in as well. That would just make it that much more annoying. Speaking of annoying, I hate those stupid shock things. And then they jump off like that and jump up on you and start shocking the crap out of you. Yeah, that hole in the wall. Yeah, there I was doing a victory dance, okay. I knew I did more than just the one in this game. Every time I found just something stupid by being like, I know there's something there, and kept trying and get it, I usually did myself a little victory dance. I'm going to check my audio file real fast, make sure everything is working right. Alright, I guess it is still picking me up, so I guess not much to complain about. <laughs> it's pretty quiet, though. The explosion still hit me. <sighs> and that didn't work at all. I tried to break them off, and there's that stupid thing jumping on me and shocking me. It's like shock hump. Everything in this game humps zero. Even the bosses try. They're like, oh man, Zero, you're so cool. Like Fefnir. I think right there I was looking at the switch just thinking, okay, I kind of want to push that switch. I'm surprised I didn't. Oh, there we go. I was going to say, since I couldn't get to the next platform. 
But once again, it is a good thing that I didn't push the switch. Because there's a secret disc and an extra life, but I didn't need that. I have full extra men right now. And that confused me because it came from the opposite way. I don't know why I figured only the top one would change, but... You know, whatever. And I don't know how I didn't get hit by that spike. My foot should have slid into it. <coughs> but I'm not complaining. I got low health here. I wonder if I'll have to use a sub tank. Probably. Even if I have full health, I usually have to use a sub tank. What is this? Tee hee hee. Hey, you weren't supposed to see this place. Hmm? This is a Dark Elf copy factory. We've got copies of the Dark Elf sleeping here. In other words, baby elves. We had the factory sealed off so nobody'd get <coughs> suspicious. Now you've done it. I'll have to ensure you remain silent about this. Forever. 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 Okay. I'm Cubit Fox Tarviti, member of Wiles Numbers. Fox Tarviti. I'll make sure you never talk again. You look more like it could be on Digimon, but alright. Whatever you say, Viti. Woohoo, the sound's gone. Because, you know, it's stupid like that. I don't know why my uh, capture stopped recording audio. Whenever I switched parts, which hopefully would be after this, hopefully the audio will be back after I fi or finish this thing off. Had to get me another little drink a drink. Because, you know, water is delicious. This time I'm sporting me some Ice Mountain 100% natural spring water. I don't... I don't know. It's also a means... Oh, wait. If I'm defeated, this place will blah, blah, blah. The copies will all die. Basically, all the babies will die. There's no proof. No one will ever know the truth. And anyway, we don't actually need the baby elves. The Dark Elf alone will be enough to take care of the reploids. I can already see it. The shining future. The new world Lord Wyle is about to create. And I see you wallowing in the depths of despair. Tee hee 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 hee. <coughs> yeah, this is kind of annoying without sound. Did I get them all? And yes, I did. I got all ten. <coughs> and I got a D. And I can double jump! Which is easily my second favorite foot chip. Which is also probably my second favorite chip in the game. Well, unless there's one I can get from the bosses from doing something cool. Transfer complete! Welcome back, Zero. It appears Wiles attempt- <coughs> Excuse me. To produce baby elves at the factory, but I wonder... What was he planning to do with all those baby elves? He's gonna make them make toys. That's what elves do. That and they fight with bows and arrows, and sometimes magic, depending on which realm of fantasy. <coughs> Cubit Fox Tarvidi. Beyblade. Stupid raping snake of shockingness. Mothra from Godzilla. And cut, right? Yes, there we go. There is the sound again. Now, like I was saying... Oh, okay. Oh, Zero, I'll give you this disc. I meant hard to s meant to hint to you a second ago, but I blinked. Got 174. But yeah, what I was reading earlier is my smaller cap means less plastic. So it's an eco slim cap. Good job, Bottle. You're advertising your. Oh, yeah, after a lot of fail. Because the stupid first question, I kept mixing it up. I couldn't remember the first guy's name. He was like, what's his name? I thought it was Colbor. I was like, what the heck? It's like, the leader? Well, that's El Paizo. Hi, Leg. He was in the forest. Nysus, Nusia. I remember it was in N. <coughs> the forest of Dysus, or whatever it was called, was the second forest. But I got a secret disc. 
and I don't know why I tried to get up there again since I already did. Got like four empty water bottles laying around me. Somebody walked in, it looked like I was a drunk. They weren't, you know, water bottles. Of course, the last two were at the very bottom. <coughs> he flies around and gathers info. He's the helper and the weapon maker. And now here we actually go on the missions. My orders, select my mission. Oh, no, don't transfer back, select a mission, okay. <coughs> and it's just the next one. Containers have fallen out of a spaceship. She fell into the snowy plains. Containers might have Omega or Wiles sent scouting party, but they're too strong and can't get through. <coughs> yeah, let's go. Preparations for transfer complete. Don't do anything dangerous. You're sending me off to like kill a bunch of enemies. Uh, Mr. Zero. The enemy is waiting in ambush up ahead. There's no way we can break through. Mr. Zero, if you can make an opening, we'll follow you. Sure, why not? <coughs> this game isn't as notorious for making a uh, cyber elf or secret disc or whatever at the beginning if you turn around and go left instead of running straight right, opposed to like the first and second game. But I still look to my left most of the time whenever I start a level. If not all the time, I don't know. It's like, ah, oh, double jump. And that one's just slower down walls. I never actually equipped that one, I don't think. Well, you'd still get to see it in effect later, so don't worry. Double jump. Oh, I wasn't using it yet. I was being... <laughs> there we go. I was like, I'll just sit there and not use it and make everybody like, what the heck? Why isn't he using it? And, uh... <laughs> yeah, I didn't even mean to jump on there with that guy. I was kind of sitting there for a second like, what the heck? I only assume that I'm grinding for discs right now. <coughs> that or sub-tank health. <laughs> this actually is a cool level. And I can't stress on how much, uh, Double jump helps in this game. I hit seriously. I haven't gotten to the portion of it yet, but depending on which way you face is the way the snowboard will go. <coughs> I don't know if I did that whenever I came back to get the rest of the cyber or secret disc I was missing. And right there, that guy showed me where a secret was. So I was like, huh. Which I guess he was supposed to have done that. But anyway, yeah. I didn't know it, so I don't know if it was whenever I came back or if I do it later, but I was aiming the opposite way and it launched that way. <coughs> yeah, those I kept stopping because I didn't know if those were spikes that were sitting in the background. I hate when the background and foreground trick like trip me up. I hate that too. It's such a long drop. Well, it seems like whenever you're sliding down it, and then there's nothing down there. And that means I have to go to the other side and check too. And nothing. Hooray. <coughs> and then I wanted to go down the little, I guess, like snowboarding trail. I don't know really what it is, but. guys caught me off the guard every freaking time. It's like, I'm ready this time, and I keep turning around and... Well, not really turning... Yeah, there we go. Because I kept waiting to just smack the control stick backwards and start shooting. Or slashing. Slashing sounds more like what I would do. 
And then, of course, I had to make sure I didn't miss anything back this way. Luckily, that's such a narrow gap. I should have been able to tell that there was nothing there. Well, I guess unless I fell through the... Over there on the other side, something, though. Because I can tell you that from how the snow looked. <coughs> yeah. And getting out of that was a little... Nerve-wracking, but it's all good. I'm pretty sure coming up was one of the times... No, I was thinking right there was like one of the times that having double jump actually saved my butt. Because I know there was at least one where I was starting to fall. I was like, oh crap, and I hit it again. See, I was thinking that was spikes, and I was like, oh, nope, never mind. And I wanted that health, but the stupid freaking sub-boss, which is just like the one on Anubis's stage, Necromancis Anubis or whatever, Anubis Necromancis, the fourth, fifth, something. <coughs> but yeah, it's just like his, except it's a snow one and not a... Sand one. And this one comes up on two different sides, but I don't think it's as strong. Like, I still don't know what making it snow does. And this confused me. I was like, okay, come on. And I got the cyber, or the disc, and then another one popped up. I was like, what the heck? That thing have two? And I was sitting there for a second like, wait, what? As you saw from my little zero double take there. I had to make sure I didn't miss anything. There was one of the times that having double uh, jump saved me. Not even from getting shot by the stupid shrimp, but launching back out after I missed. Because I hit my head on the ceiling when I jumped out. <sighs> I'm yawning. If you guys... Obviously, probably couldn't tell. I have a lack of oxygen getting to my brain. Probably because I'm sitting here talking about myself playing a video game that I played a week ago. <laughs> nah, but I really like this series. Opposed to a lot of hardcore Mega Man fans, a lot of people don't seem to like the Zero series. Which I don't understand why. I mean, yeah, they really change a lot of stuff up. But, <coughs> I don't know, I really liked it. I mean, it's not the X series or even the classic series at that. Although, I really suck at the classic series, so it was always hard for me to get into it. Especially as when I first saw it. But, um... So I actually prefer the X series over the classic series. Mainly because I can beat that one. <coughs> well, the ones I've played. I haven't even played the entire X series. But yeah. Point is, I like the Zero series. Speaking of X series, Sora needs to hurry <coughs> and get at least part three up of Let's Play Mega Man X. I know he's got the recording done for the 15 minutes of it, he just never did the commentary for it. He was going to do it in post. <coughs> Because he's got the blank file of it with no audio on it on a true friends on a private file right now. And that annoyed me. There's nothing up there. It seemed like for how you had to have double jump and launch to get up there, there could have had something cool. But nope. That's where I would have put a sub tank. Just saying. Capcom. Because I'm sure you're totally going to be like, let's watch people fail at playing our games. And then sue them. Is that it? Too much grunge that time. Ha! That container was an Omega on Omega's ship, so you see it's ours. Or has the legendary hero stooped to thievery? I think I missed what he said there. How deplorable. As king of the snow plains, I do hereby judge your crime. What glacially cockpit of Royal's numbers has reached a verdict. 
The punishment for thievery is death. Yeah, so I made him a... Uh, well, I guess stupid and fat. <coughs> the voice I'm going for with him. But that's basically all this character is. Stupid and fat. He's an ice cactus. With a mustache. I mean, I'll give him bonus points for having a mustache. Don't get me wrong. But he's slow. He's pretty weak. And he's, well, just a bad boss. It's kind of like fighting... Oh my, not stupid into thievery. You also defy Lord Royal. Lord Royal's new orders will issue judgment upon you. <laughs> Alright, but yeah, who's he remind me of? From the, I think the X series. I don't know. I mean, maybe like Flame Mammoth. I got the Spike Foot Chip, which basically makes it where whenever I run on things like ice, I won't slip. Isn't that cool? And the correct answer to that is yes. It's amazing. And right after I said that, I just saw that upside down grunt. Oh, wait, I guess there's some reading to do here. We've discovered data inside the container. Mr. Zero, we've recovered all the data. I will continue searching for more data. Yes, I switched between data and data multiple times there. Alright, so yeah. I saw a Grunt or... I guess Grunt Grunt's Gaming now is his YouTube channel. Check that out. Uh, subscribe to him, if you will. But I saw that he wrote... What was it he wrote? It's like, you're not cool. Yeah, you're not cool. Right after I said it was. But whatever. Zero, thank you. I'm analyzing all the data if you've recovered. We may be able to figure out what Wile is attempting. By now, blah, 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 blah. Do my best, blah, blah, blah. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and start signing out, guys. But, uh, yeah, I know I'm rambling and being stupid and not staying to one subject. I apologize. But I am JKU390. Until next time, guys. Later. <laughs>